I know what you're thinking. You just did one of these, and you're right. So we're just gonna feed my addiction more and show you guys all the books I bought. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys all the books I just bought. Um, I got these at a couple different trips at a couple different stores. One was a used bookstore. So let's just get right into it. So I recently went to a used bookstore and got a couple books. So I'm gonna show you those first. The first one that I got is called The Innocent by Harlan Coben. Um, my parents actually really love his books, but I hadn't read any of his, and it was a 50 cent book, um, and he signed it. Somebody took it to a used bookstore, so I'm not entirely sure what it's about. I know it has to do with a mystery, um, but both my parents read the book and said it was awesome. The next book I'm currently reading, it is A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. I had been looking for this book and I found it for $2 at a used bookstore, and I'm so excited I found it. I'm about 200 pages in and I love it so far. It's just an epic fantasy novel. I've never seen the TV show, but I want to finish the first book, obviously, before I start the first season. Um, and it is quite a long read, but I really am enjoying it. It's quite entertaining and everything that's going on. It's so hard to follow some plots and characters, but if you guys want an in-depth review when I'm finished with this, let me know. The next book I got is Wild by Cheryl Strayed. Um, this is a woman's memoir about her hike on the Pacific Crest Trail and kind of just conquering her fears. And I had heard this book was awesome and that it was a really good memoir and it was really empowering, so I wanted to read it. And I found it at the used bookstore for $3. So it looks very good, I've never seen the movie either. The next book I got is The Paris Wife by Paula McLean. Um, this is set in the 1920s, Chicago, and it has to do with kind of a fictional world that involves Ernest Hemingway and F. Scott Fitzgerald, and it has something to do obviously with Paris. Um, it, I love historical fiction novels. I think I'm really going to like this. It's pretty quick, and it was about $3, so I'm excited to read it. And then the last book I got was Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. This is also a historical fiction novel. Everyone that I've talked to has loved this book. It is a Christian fiction novel, and I am about halfway through it, and it's very good so far. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to end, but I'm very excited. Now, this stack of books I got just at local retail stores. So the first one I got was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Um, I had heard so many things about this, and it's being turned into a movie, and I feel like I'm so out of the loop for not reading it. So I'm going to read this, and I hope I like it. I don't know. It's different than what I normally would read, um, but I'll be able to fly right through it. Plus, it's a young YA novel with some pictures in it, and... I don't know, I'll see. I don't, I don't know hardly anything going into this, so I have really no preconceived notions of anything, so it'll be interesting to see how I like it. The next book I got is The Beautiful and Damned by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I loved The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and I recently read a biography about his wife, Zelda, and I really wanted to read this because people have said this was his novel that was kind of the transparency about his marriage, all the problems he had with Zelda, and I think it's going to be a good book. I don't read enough classic literature or classic authors, um, so I think it'll be very helpful to read this. And the next book I got is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Moss. Everybody was telling me that they understood that I didn't love the Throne of Glass, the first novel, but they said to keep going with the series, so I'm going to try. Um, I don't know how I'm going to really enjoy it because I didn't really like the first novel, but I'm going to try and see if I like this one and hopefully read it in the next coming months. Speaking of classics, I got The Plague by Albert Camus. I mentioned this in my TBR for February. I'm still only about 50 pages into it. I'm just not used to reading classics, which is why I do want to integrate more of them into my TBR piles. Um, it's interesting. So this is about a bubonic plague in North Africa that is transmitted through rats. Um, so one day, all these shop owners start finding dead rats in the streets, and it's very, very gross, but it's quite interesting. I've never read any literature about plagues before. And then the final book I got is the one I'm most excited for. It is November 9 by Colleen Hoover. I have heard so, so many people on booktube talk about this book. Um, I don't know hardly anything about it besides two people always see each other on November 9th. Um, I've never read anything Colleen Hoover before, so I hope I really like it. Everybody really loves her writing style, so I'll be interested to see what I think. So that was my quick little book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more book-related videos or book tags or anything like that, let me know down below anything you'd like to see. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you back here later. 
underneath a palm trees You can leave your worries I don't need nobody You and me together Run away from mama Still live with your mama That's alright